Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I am doing a little homeware haul with Mr. Price Home. I basically needed a bunch of little things for my house. You guys know I am always updating things around here. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys what I got. We just needed a few sort of uniform, long-term mix space of our lives. Um, like bedding and just like kitchen accessories and then also we'll be getting a new bed sometime in the near future and so I wanted some new bedding and little scatter cushions and a new washing basket and things like that that are going to match and I think there are decor items there may be one or two decor items in here as well so um, yeah on that note let's get into it okay so we may as well start with the things I got for the bedroom first and to start things off um, I got two of these A2 size frames. A lot of you guys always ask me how to tell um, what size frame you should get. This is an A2, so it's like kind of like my upper body, and an A1 is basically double this. But anyways, I always love getting um, Mr. Price Homes frames. They are super affordable. I think I have like five or six hanging in my house already. So now we've got two more that we're going to hang above the bed, and of course put some shop fashion bead prints in there. So that's quite fun, can't wait to do that. Then also for the bedroom, we got this 100% cotton cover uh, duvet set. Basically, I always go for white bedding. The reason being, you know, if you misplace a pillowcase from another set, or if you mess bleach on it, which does happen from time to time, somehow a white thing is just gonna stay white. People are always intimidated by it, but I personally am so afraid to go for um, color bedding because I'm just scared bleach or something's going to fall on it. So I don't know why it just always is uniform. It's easy to replace. You'll always find it and your room always kind of looks the same. So I really love this. So this is from the Mr. Price Home Premium range. We bought, I think, the same set or very similar set last year and we absolutely love it. Then also for our bedroom slash for those cozy winter days that we have coming up i got uh, a nice throw this is also from the premium range i think i saw that this is 1.8 by actually i'm not gonna make up measurements um but this is the print she's big so we're probably gonna have this um placed at the bottom of the bed and you know it's probably gonna end up on the couch as well and wherever else but i think it's really cute then the last thing that we got for our bed were these two scatter cushions and they were so well priced. Um, I think they were like $129.99 each. Um, it's so nice and soft as well. I love the nudish texture. I just want to get like some light and neutral toned things in my room now. The place I'm just at is my house must be like a sanctuary and sometimes when things are a bit dark, it doesn't always feel like that. Great for sleeping though. I'm just over that whole dark aesthetic in my room and I want like yeah light and calm and peace and like good vibes coming through then the last thing that will also be in my room but kind of not in my room kind of in my like closet second bedroom which is like open plan to my room I don't know if this makes sense anyways we got a new washing basket um, I needed like a nice skinny one we always end up getting woven ones or plastic ones which like something always snaps like the little hinge might snap or sometimes you know the wicker ones that can get hooked on your clothing didn't want that so this is a really nice fabric one i think i think there's plastic in here um this isn't gonna break off because it's already separated and yeah what's the price of this one this is 4.59 um i just love it again all the neutral tones then the last decor item which may end up in my room or somewhere else i'm not sure um is uh this little what are these guys <laughs> it's like three uh i thought it was only two that's three that's cool these fans yes they are real they are dried out what are they called sun sphere oh wow i've seen these on pinterest always wondered if they were real or literally if people had made like little fans probably sound really dumb right now but whatever i thought people made fans and then stuck them in with their pampas grass or whatever anyways so i found these which is really nice this was from the mr price home in canal walk so if you want to go and get it it's really cute uh 70 bucks i feel like you could just put this in with like 
one other read and it will be fabulous okay so next we have a couple of bathroom items over here um first up there is this hair drying cap which was 120 rand well 119.99 um this product is woven with microfiber soft and comfortable to the touch and super absorbent and it makes the hair dry quickly with it you don't have to worry about the hair loss of the hair dryer and even in winter you won't be bothered by wet hair dry hair is so easy okay so i haven't tried this yet obviously very excited to because i've actually seen these around and if there's one thing that is the absolute bane of my existence is drying my hair okay no i'm, I'm also exaggerating but but sometimes i'm just really lazy because my hair is thick it's long and just it just feels like an effort sometimes even though it literally only takes me eight minutes but yeah i'm lazy then i also got uh this pack of one two three four five face cloths the reason i got this is when it comes to my makeup removal especially lately and just cleansing something i've been loving is using facial balms so yeah it's quite literally a balm like an oil-based balm and you know you just kind of massage it all over your face and then wash it off and then sometimes i'll go back in with another layer and then wipe that last bit off with a face cloth you just get this really clean exfoliated um feel and all your makeup comes off i'm all for buying a really good exfoliator but let's be honest these are the og exfoliators then for the last two bathroom items we bought six hand towels and six bath sheets so my surprise home has a massive selection of towels for every budget from egyptian cotton to kind of something premium but not as expensive as that and then they've got ones that are a lot more affordable with something like 160 for two big ones so we kind of went for the in-between and thought we would rather just get a bunch of the same towels and have like a uniform vibe in the cupboard you know you look at your towels and it's all the same you know that's just kind of like aesthetic organization goals so once again i always just love white it's easy to replace so if one has a border and one doesn't have a border in two years time it's really fine it's not a big deal um so yeah we got six or eight of these big hospitality towels this is actually the bath sheet I just decided to go for the hospitality bath sheet as opposed to the premium bath sheet same price by the way um because i kind of feel like if this is aimed at hospitality it's maybe going to be more durable not that i've ever had a towel break but it just felt like the more long-term regular use gonna make my house feel like a hotel option you know so this is what it looks like she's got a little trim there I hope my ISO isn't too high and as you can see um, so it's got like a little border trim on either end it's really big I love a big towel I'm a tall girl it's important and then the hospitality hand towel it's just basically the same and so they're always going to match and that's quite nice lastly we are going to move on to kitchen items there are only okay there's a few there's technically three so once again we are looking for stability through uniformity and clear and clean aesthetics so i got these containers they have different sizes they've also got you know like small ones and um they are a like a type what do you call it a lock storage so when you open it here it opens and when you close it it seals shut and it just locks all that air in so all of them are like that this one um was 89.99 this one is 69.99 and this bigger one is 119.99 so these are all sold as singles and i pretty much got this times two so we're gonna have our quinoa in here and our chia seeds and our collagen next stop label maker but we'll get there so the next thing we got is this four pack of stoneware bowls this was 99 99 it's four everyday bowls basically so similar concept as with the towels and the bedding we just go for white because if anything needs to be replaced it's so easy to replace it so we've broken a couple of our bowls over the years this did the trick it goes with everything else in our kitchen looks like this and then last but not least we got this um 
draw organizer slash cutlery tray for our cutlery and our tools in the kitchen because in the last couple of years we've had literally the same cutlery tray since we got married which has been six and a half years and needless to say our tools and things the collection has grown things are getting wild we needed a bigger one and we needed it to be more organized and also i don't know what that one is i think it's like one of those metal ones you know like the old school metal that look you know that look anyway so this looks a bit more uniform and clean so that's it from me i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys found some exciting things that you might want to add to your home um i will link the items down below in the description bar where i can and yeah that's about it don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye